Welcome to another edition of Yes, We're Here, Meredith Morakovitz and Tim Naring. Tim, everything shut down so quickly in spring training. Can you just take us through that whole process as you were trying to figure out what was going on and eventually uh, went on to leave Tampa? Yeah, obviously, um, strange times. I, the team was actually over on the east coast of Florida, the major league team, and I was working with our minor league guys watching the game and about the fourth or fifth inning, all the major league players actually were taken off the field. We had caught wind that uh, the games were going to be shut down. Uh, obviously, from our aspect of things, it's, uh, it was uncharted waters, and we kind of sat back and, and tried to understand what the next step was. Obviously, NBA was the first to make a move, and then obviously we followed. Uh, looking back, obviously, it was the right decision. And, um, you know, we're, we're waiting patiently. But I, I will tell you, Meredith, we've been very, very busy with uh, some different things. You know, use the term deeper dive. We've been looking at our players. Um, we have conference calls each day um, from Brian Cashman through our organization, probably about 40 individuals. Uh, we, we're doing a deeper dive on all the 40-man roster. Uh, you know, obviously, every player is different. Somebody could be a younger player in the midst of their development. Uh, and what, what does the development look like? Is it strength conditioning based? Is it an analytical change? Is it a, is it a physical change that the coaching staff recognizes? So each player is so uniquely different that it's, it's nice to have a little time to do a deeper dive on these guys. We got a, a snapshot of what they looked like in spring training. Obviously, unfortunately, we've had a shutdown. But since then, uh, we – now had an opportunity to uh, kind of sit down, take a deep breath, and, and, and see exactly where some of these individuals are, not only with uh, their skill set, their development, but, you know, probably most importantly in our major club, the health. Tim, obviously people in the Yankees organization are still very busy. Can you kind of take us through a day of what everyone has been up to? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing right now, um, you look at, each day when you wake up in the morning, you, you, you check the uh, system and, and you get the updates on some of our minor league players. Uh, video attached, we see guys that are throwing uh, at their high school facilities. You see snow on the ground in some areas. Uh, so we're trying to keep track of everybody uh, in our organization, where they're at in their development, what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Our player development guys have been doing an outstanding job keeping everybody informed. Um, you know, so the bottom line is we we are doing a uh, a great job of analyzing where each one of our individual players are in their their own personal development and uh, trying to keep track of these guys as best as possible because they're obviously uh, positioned all over the world. So um, I'm hopeful that when we do get back, um, our guys will be in a position they'll be physically ready, mentally ready, and we can uh, ramp this thing up quickly. Um, to get to get playing does the evaluation change at all or the way you evaluate change at all knowing that when things get going again uh, you may need to get ready quick well I, I think so I I would say that you know when, when you have your objective meetings going into spring training you have a pretty good idea of what seven eight nine guys are going to be looked at as starters. Uh, we may have to tweak that. We obviously know that there probably will be some sort of addition to the rosters. Uh, starting pitchers may not be stretched out as far as you would like them to start a season, but uh, the bottom line is we're going to do what's right for the individuals. Uh, if we're going to err, it's going to be err on the side of conservative. And, um, you know, hopefully if the rosters expand, we'll, we'll make sure that we have enough arms there. Luckily, we do have uh, depth in the organization. Um, we are getting healthier and healthier, which is, is outstanding. You talked a lot about this organization, Steph, dating back to winter meetings, and you mentioned some of the arms. Although it wasn't a complete spring training, who were some of the guys that really stood out to you? Uh, you know, I will tell you that I, I was very, very, very impressed with uh, both of our left-handers, Montgomery and Hap. Um, Obviously, happy and more on the veteran side, but I thought he threw the ball very well. I thought he picked up exactly where he left off the last six or seven weeks of last season, and he came in with um, what looked to be a very uh, uh, great effort, 
laser focus and crisp stuff that I thought was uh, great to see. Uh, Montgomery, I thought, threw the ball very well, the command, the changeup. Um, so looking at the immediate impact on the 25, those two stood out big time for me. Um, the younger kids that you and I talk about all the time, I, I thought uh, Medina came as advertised with some of the things that he showed with the power fastball. I thought uh, Albert Abreu uh, was very, very good during spring uh, in a reliever role, averaging about 98 miles an hour in his fastball, flashing a plush curveball and changeup. So I thought for the most part, looking at our roster and seeing these young men that may have competed at the low A and high A levels at tops, handled themselves very well as a group, right? Oftentimes you, you see the talent, uh, but you worry about how they're going to perform under the bigger lights and, you know, with major league hitters and major league teammates. I thought they commanded the zone. They showed flashes of who they are. And for the most part, I was very, very pleased that what we saw. Yankees stuff aside, what else have you been doing with your time? You know, it, it, it sounds crazy because you think, all right, usually I'm on a plane, I'm traveling to different cities, watching, scouting, um, you know, players within our organization or outside of our organization. Uh, on the surface, I thought I was, was going to have a little bit of uh, a blow here and, and not be as busy, but uh, it, it's been very interesting. Uh, we have what's called Yankee University, so we have continuing education going on every single day. There's a number of hours that need to be put in and it's it's really a great program because a lot of it's uh, player development driven some of it's from the strength conditioning and kinesiology points of view so it's a it's a great thing so the continuing education is going on throughout our organization um, have had a chance to look into different players uh, on the amateur side for Damon and his group so there's a handful of us looking at video and analyzing swings and different things going on there so we have been very busy I mean obviously um, you know, your prayers go out to, you know, all the people that are suffering and, and, and big thanks out to the people that are on the front lines helping. Um, you know, we obviously are in entertainment and entertainment will probably be uh, something that's much needed down the road to be, you know, the, the diversion from what, what's happening in the real world. But we just have to be patient and hopefully, uh, you know, we can get back to some sort of normalcy and back to baseball. And, you know, what that looks like, who knows in the future. But I will promise this, the Yankee organization will be ready. Um, we'll be supportive of the city. And uh, I guess in closing, I will tell you that my 12-year-old son gave me this haircut. So if anybody has any issues, um, that is one aspect of things that have been a little bit different <laughs> for all of us. So. Um, you know, it, is, it has been nice to be around my wife and kids and, and enjoy some time with them. But obviously, we're all ready to get back to uh, some sort of normal. So. Well, the haircut looks great. He did a good job. Stay safe. I hope your family stays safe. And thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Yes, We're Here.